And I want people to know that we love Jesus. He is very Absolutely. dear to us. He is one of the mightiest messengers that God has sent to Absolutely. humanity. He was sent to the children of Israel at that time, correct? Yes. He did many mighty miracles by the permission of God. Yes. And he healed the sick, the blind, yes. the lepers, correct? Absolutely. Gave life to the dead by God's permission. All of that. All that good stuff, right? He was the Word of God on he earth? He was the Word of God. Okay. But... He never claimed divinity. No, he never claimed divinity. And one of the amazing things about Islam that everyone should know is that we are the only other religion that is a tenet of faith that you must believe in Jesus Christ. And everything that he did or you cannot be a Muslim. If that is missing, if you say that you do not believe in Jesus, you have stepped outside of Islam. You cannot be a Muslim. It is a tenet of our faith to... Hello everyone. Peace of Christ to all. Let us show you the lies of this video one by one. I will start from the end. You cannot be a Muslim unless you believe in Jesus. And we are the only one who, out of Christianity, believe in Jesus, which is a lie. This, he said, we are the only religion in this world. If you don't believe in Jesus, you know, you, you know, you are out of Islam. When this is a very big false thing, there's hundreds of cults in the world, they believe in Jesus. As example, Jehovah's Witnesses, the Mormon, and even Satan, and even the Church of Satan themselves. So, all what they are saying to us is just a bunch of lies trying to fool you. That's we are people who love Jesus. You know what? They love Jesus, but they want to kill the Jewish. They love Moses, but they want to kill every Jew. They love, the, they, they love Jesus, but they want to kill the Christian. They want to burn their churches. You know, too much love is killing us, brother. Like, you know, your love is amazing. If you love Jesus for real, you follow his teaching. And believing in Jesus that he is prophet, it's not believing in Jesus even. You just believe that Jesus is no one. So what if he's a prophet? You did not make a difference out of him. And according to Islam, the most honorable prophet of Allah is Muhammad. So Jesus is no one in the front of Muhammad. So why you are trying to fool the Christians say, we love Jesus, you know, we love Jesus, but we want to kill you. No problem. Let us continue in this line here and see how many lies they say to us. From the beginning of the video they said that Jesus he did the following. I will play it again. He is one of the mightiest messengers that God has sent to Absolutely. humanity. He was sent to the children of Israel at that time, correct? Yes. He did many mighty miracles by the permission of God. I will stop in here. He did many miracles by the permission of God. So even they are denying every miracle Jesus by saying by a permission of God. What, what they are, you know, when the Muslims say to you by permission of God, what he's trying to do? Simply is trying to take the credit out of the hand of Jesus. Don't say those are the miracles of Jesus. Those are the miracles of Allah. So you see, they just told us they love Jesus, but Jesus is no one. Because simply he did not do any miracle. It, it was the miracle of Allah, not his miracle. And they just told us we love Jesus and we believe in his miracle. When they just told us that it is not his miracle. This is, uh, is the permission of Allah. Now, if we go and look at the word the permission, what the permission mean? Permission simply is somebody is agreeing with you to do something. Let us say, I will let you do it. I allowed you to do it but the question is if I don't allow you does that mean you cannot do it as an example if I say to someone let us say I have a son and he want to drive my car I allowed him to drive my car is that mean if I did not allowed him he cannot drive it Does that mean by allowing him, he learned how to drive? Absolutely not. Because he knew how to drive the car, with my permission or not. Simply what I did, I said to him, okay, no problem. I don't have a problem with it, to do it. I don't have a problem with it. I agree with you. Go and do it. But first of all, this is mean that he can do it. To make it more easy to understand, or to be understood, if I say to someone, you have my permission uh, to sell the moon in eBay, sell it. 
or you know what if I say to someone you have my permission uh, to to carry the mount the, the Rocky Mountains carry them take them you know uh, what my permission will do nothing simply because my permission have no value simply because he cannot do it anyway so who care about my permission if I gave or not so permission here doesn't mean that Jesus he don't have the ability it's showing us that Jesus he have the ability but according to them those Muslims they are saying to us he got the permission which mean God he don't have a problem with it which mean that Jesus he can do what God do which mean he's God I can give you a permission right now to create a human being does that mean anything no simply because you cannot so what a big deal giving you a permission doesn't make you able to do it so what the Muslims keep saying to us by the permission of God the permission of God the perm but the permission doesn't mean ability permission is just I agree and the proof of that God of Islam he gave Muhammad the permission to be his prophet correct which means he allowed him to speak for him now can somebody be or claim to be a false prophet yes he can so you give him permission or not he can claim the only different if somebody claim to have it but he can do it still he can be a false prophet and someone he claim but he is really a prophet of God so permission or without a permission still you can say I am prophet of God if God give me permission to be a prophet or God did not give me a permission to be a prophet still I can say to everybody around me I am a prophet of God prophet of God with a permission or without it doesn't make a difference the only difference is he is really a prophet or he is not but doesn't make him don't have the ability to claim that he is a prophet of God so if I claim to be the Messiah I can with the permission of God or not but I cannot do what the Messiah can do so what a big deal if you say to me with the permission of God if the, if Jesus Christ he cannot do what he did no permission in the world can make him able to do it they did not say they gave him or he gave him the ability it is a permission and this is mean that Jesus he have the ability which mean he is God when God of Islam he gave Muhammad the permission to be a prophet why Muhammad he did not do miracles actually there is a surah in the Quran it says it clearly we refrain to do miracles Allah himself refrain but Muhammad is still a prophet of God supposedly so he gave him a permission to be a prophet and whatever the word mean prophets of God they are prophets they can even tell you about things nobody knows supposedly about the future prophet of God they do miracles Muhammad he could not do not even one the Muslims will say to you the only miracles on is of Islam is the Quran itself which is very funny and dummy because Quran is full of mistakes like the earth is a flat and the moon set in the d dirty water and the baby uh, you know uh, come from the sperm of the father and, and, the, and the sperm of a woman the woman have a sperm and the sperm of the woman coming from her ribs you know it's uh, uh, unlimited mistakes very hard to count even that one it's mean Muhammad he have no miracles because the Quran supposedly is the book of Allah not the book of Muhammad so even this one is not the miracle even if it's a miracle it's not the miracle of Muhammad it is the miracle of Allah so in here the Muslims trying to fool us saying to you that Jesus he don't have miracles those miracles are the miracles of Allah simply because he gave him a permission but they forgot if I give you a permission to drive my car it doesn't mean necessarily that you can drive it really if you do not know how to drive if I give you permission to swim it doesn't mean that you can swim really because if you don't know how to swim you will die permission